to start the questions okay inshallah momina uh, will be asking questions from you guys and um, if necessary i mean of course she will uh, explain the answers as well okay momina so i am unmuting you okay thank you should i start yes yes uh, can you allow me to share my screen uh yeah sure okay no but how do i allow okay wait Okay. Sorry, sorry. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Multiple participants. One participant can share at a time with the whole one. Multiple participants. Okay, Momena. I I allowed you. Can you see? Yes. Yes. This is the first question. Yes. Copy out the organs listed on the left. and match each with the correct system from those listed on the right so over here it's written organs and these are organs of the body and this is the system from where they are okay so who would answer this question yeah who who wants to answer the first question i can see arsalan and furqan's hands raised so let me unmute uh, arsalan Yes, Arsalan. Yeah, yes, Miss. I okay. Can... Okay. Should I answer from the first from lungs and windpipe? Yes. The lungs and windpipe windpipe are in the respiratory system. Respiratory system, right? What's what's the function of the respiratory system? Uh, to take uh, to help. Yes, help in the person breathe. Yes, it's it's responsible for uh, the exchange of gases. Okay, between the organism and the and its environment. Okay, move on. And uh, the number two, the heart and blood vessels. The heart and blood vessels are the part of the circulatory system. Okay, good. and number 3 is the brain and spinal cord cord they are part of the nervous system okay okay so what's the number just 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 in one brief statement also tell us the function of each system so what was the fun, what was the function of cir circulatory system uh, the circulatory system helps uh, the circulatory system Uh, is responsible for, uh, for yes for transport for right Tra transport of oxygen from the heart to all parts of the body yeah transport of all the materials oxygen carbon dioxide uh, and nutrients and digestive and the digested uh, no nutrients and everything okay then uh, a ner nervous system the nervous system uh, the nervous system uh, is for is the nerve, ner the brain and spinal cord are in the nervous system and the nervous nervous system transports signals from the brain to all the parts of the body yes but uh, don't don't use the word transport because then you know like people will get confused the circulatory was transport and the nervous is also transport so you can say that nervous system is responsible for controlling our body controlling all the systems uh, all the other systems of our body okay okay the nervous system is responsible for controlling all parts of our body right okay next the number 4 number 4 is ovaries oviducts and uterus okay. they are part of the reproductive system which helps to form a baby very good okay Number five is also figus, stomach and its intestines. Very They good. are part of the digestive system. The digestive system is involves the breakdown of food in the stomach. Right, the digestion of the food material. Okay, next. 
Number six is the kidneys and bladder. They are part of the excretory system. Yes, excretory system. Okay, what's uh, what is the function of excretory system? The ex excretory system. The excretory system that removes the excess uh, excess and unwanted materials from the body. Very good. Okay. Okay. Good job. Mashallah. You 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 you've done well. Okay, now mute yourself. Okay, Momina, do you have any explanation for this no, question or, or are we good? Yes, we are good. Okay, okay, then move on. The next question, these are the end of chapter questions. Yes. Oh, sorry, further questions. The right. diagram shows a plant cell. This is a plant cell. Okay. And then they're asking us to match each cell structure with its function. So they have given three cell structures and there are many functions. So we need to figure out the correct functions. Right. So who will answer so, this question? So who, who, who wants to answer? So let's see, Abdul Rafi. Yes. Yes, can you answer this question? Uh, yes, I can. Okay. Cell membrane. Uh, its function is to. Yeah, you have to control when uh, what enters and leaves the cell. Very no, good. Because need, yes. You need to match from here. Yeah, you have to choose from the right column. Okay, uh, under okay. under the heading of function. Right. Okay. Okay. So yes, uh, a cell membrane is like you know the wall uh, of the cell. And so whatever enters or exits the cell has to do it through the cell membrane. So it is the cell membrane which controls what enters and how much of it enters. Very good. Okay, next. Uh, nucleus. Okay. Nucleus controls the activities of the cell. Perfect. Thank you. Next. And ribosomes, a uh, site of uh, protein synthesis. Very good. Perfect. Okay, part B. Name three structures. Okay. Name three structures found in a plant cell but not found in an animal cell. Um, cell, uh, cell wall. Okay. okay, very good. Uh, yes. Vacuum. Very Large good. Permanent and chloroplasts. Vacuum is also present in the animal cells. You need to add the words large and permanent. <laughs> yes, very good. And central. <laughs> yes. Very good, Momina. Okay, then third, three structures, right? So you said cell wall, large, permanent, central vacuole. And chloroplasts. Very good. Okay. So part C, name okay. one type of animal cell that contains a lot of mitochondria and give a reason for your answer. Um, nerve cells? Sorry? Nerve cells? I, I can't understand. Nerve cells? Nerve, nerve cell. Yes. That's a very good answer. Yes. Why do you think it has a lo lot of mitochondria? Give a reason. Because it needs to, it, it is responsible for sending messages uh, to other parts of the body. Right. So transmission of uh, electrical impulses is highly active process. It's highly energy consuming. Energy. Active, yes. Active means? What is the... Uh, uh, that... It's very like, it takes a lot of energy. Right. So remember, in science, active means requiring energy. In biology, especially active means requiring energy. And what is the opposite of active? Uh, yes. I told you in my previous classes. <laughs> Passive. Okay. Okay, sorry. Passive. Passive means not requiring energy, uh, not requiring energy without energy. Okay, is there any other type of animal cell that contains a lot of mitochondria? Is there any other type of animal cell? Okay, Abdul, Abdul Rafi, you mute yourself. I'm asking. Momina? Yes. Yes, please. Um, the muscle cells, they have a lo lot of mitochondria because Very they good. constantly need energy. 
Very and, good. And the job of mitochondria is to transfer energy from food molecules through respiration. So the muscle cells need energy to move us and whatever we do, we are actually moving. So the muscles are what is moving our skeleton. Very good, very good. Okay, another thing, which muscle cell uh, do you think uh, will have the most mitochondria? Of all the muscle cells, which cell do you think will have the most mitochondria? Any ideas? Guesses? Maybe the digestive cell? No. See, digestive cells will be active <clears throat> only when you eat. Yes. Something that is some muscle, muscle that is all the time working, all the time working, non-stop. Yes. Sidra, say it loudly. Heart. Heart. Cardiac muscles. Okay. Yeah, because they have to contract all the time, all the time. You know, okay. if they stop contracting, you know, life finishes, right? Yes. Okay, and then there's a third type. Animal cell. Animal cell that uh, requires a lot of mitochondria. Yes. I'm not sure about that. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll let you guys know. Um, it's a male gamete cell, the sper spermatozoon. Male gamete cell. Okay, that also has a lot of mitochondria. Okay, so this is done. This question is done. Move on, Momina. Next question. Okay. So the diagram below, it shows five cells. Some of them are from animals and some are from plants. So these are the five cells. Okay. The cells are specialized to carry out certain functions. This is the list of the functions. It's not in order. Right. Now, first part A is saying us to copy and to complete the table by matching these cells, the letters on these cells from the names. Right. Right. So, who will answer? Okay, who wants to answer? Let me. Okay, Manal. Yes, Manal. Yes, yes Manal, can you please answer the question? First, the first cell is the palisade cell. Right. So okay. Here, which one do you think is the palisade cell? The palisade cell is B. Correct. Very then good. Is the root hair cell? Root hair cell is C. Okay. Then we have the sensory neuron. D. Okay. And lastly, we have the white blood cell. A. Yes. So part two asks us to um, write the functions, match the numbers with the name of the cell. Okay, so okay. let's do it. So let's do it this way. Make it easy. Uh, function number one. Which cell do you think has function number one? Function number one is absorb salts and water from the soil. C. Root hair cell. Root hair cell. So don't say C. Just, just. I mean, we. You can write the letter, right? Uh, uh, so just tell me the name. Okay. Root hair cell. Function two. Kills bacteria. Kills bacteria. Uh, white blood cells. Very good. Makes food by photosynthesis. B, which is palisade cells. Okay. Very good. Electrical impulses. Electrical impulses. This one is D. Neuron cells. Very good. Shortens to bring out movement. E. Muscle cells. Okay. Very now, good. Now choose two of the cells and describe that how their structures help them to for perform their functions efficiently. Okay. Um, uh, B, which is palisade cells. Okay. Palisade cells are used like in photosynthesis and photosynthesis is the is the very good is the system or function which helps the plant make food yeah so, so, how does the so how does the structure help it photo i mean help it in photosynthesis the structure helps in photosynthesis by like because of its shape it's like directly like 
Yes, yes, yes. You're facing the sun. Okay, so it's it's directly below the epidermis. Yes. Yes, and what Which, else? Because of its like it's it's like large. It has a flat surface area, so it allows it has a more surface area, so it allows easy like uh, more absorption of sunlight. Well, you know, if you look at the shape of the palisade cell, it's simple rectangular. So that is not increasing its surface area, but you will say that it's vertical alignment under the epidermis, under the transparent epidermis. Do you know that the epidermis, which is the layer above it, is transparent? Transparent, why? Because the sun, sun rays have to pass through them, because only then they will be able to reach the palisade cells, if you remember the cross-section uh, of the leaf that I showed you. Uh, yes. If, if not, then I can. I, I'll have to share my screen. I can and I can show you. So, um, so that is that alignment uh, maximizes the amount of uh, uh, sun rays that it can absorb. Yes. Then, secondly, it has large number of chloroplasts. It has. Yes. It is filled with chloroplast. It has the most chloroplast of all the plant cells. Okay, Momina, do you want to share something? Yeah. Okay, I can tell the functions of all of the cells that how are they helping? Okay, so the question says choose two of the cells. Okay, I'm I'm also sharing my screen. So should I stop for some time? Okay. Okay, yeah. Look at this cross section of the leaf. Can you see these palisade cells? These are the palisade cells which are arranged vertically under the epidermis and this flat this can can you can you follow my cursor yes yes so this follow this layer this is the transparent layer of epidermis of the epidermal cells okay and see how they are flattened okay and this is transparent so all the sun rays manage to pass through this a uh, transparent layer of epidermis and then they enter the chloroplast right and so these chloroplasts um, gather at this top half of the cell so as to uh, absorb as much sunlight as is possible. Okay, but if the sun rays are too strong, you know, like in like, equatorial regions, in desert regions, like Riyadh is also one of them, the chloroplast can be damaged by too much rays and by too uh, high temperature. So they move, then they move away. Okay, so the alignment or the position of these chloroplasts is according to the intensity of sun rays and a lot of other factors. So all these help it in its uh, uh, function. And the cell wall also is transparent. Cell wall is also transparent because remember, the sun rays have to reach the chloroplast for photosynthesis to take place. So all these are structural adaptations which help it perform its function. Okay, Momina, do you want to add something? Yes, um, I will tell the functions of all of the cells. Okay. Yes, that so, would be a good idea. Okay. Yes. So A is a white blood cell. You will yes. study further also. So white blood cells are basically supposed okay. to involve. Okay. 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 Wait, 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 Momina. Uh, did Manal give me uh, the structure and uh, function of the other cell? Remember two cells? No, she did not. Yeah, so Manal, please complete your answer and then Momina, you can continue. Uh, where, where is she? She oh. muted. Uh, okay, she muted herself? Yes. Yeah, please don't mute yourself until I ask you to. Yes. Manal, complete your answer. Yes. Okay. And the second... The second cell I would like to explain is E, which is a, which is a muscle cell. Okay, good job. They have that kind of like that elong elongated shape. Very good. Because Very good. because they ha they help us move our muscles. They have to contract and relax constantly okay. to help us move. So that's okay. why they have an uh, that elongated shape to like to make it easier for them to contract and relax. Yes. Momina, do you want to say something else? Or Manal, do you, do, do you have an, a, any other point regarding the muscle cells? Uh, no, no teacher. Thank you, I'm done. Okay, okay. you've done a fa fabulous job. So you, now, now you. you can mute yourself. Okay, should I yes. continue? Yes, Mo uh, Momina, tell us more about the muscle cell first. 
okay so and the muscle cells they also have lot of they have also a lot of mitochondria yes very good that's for they are supposed to transfer energy because they have to work a lot so okay. they have a lot of mitochondria okay what process takes place in the mitochondria respiration very good which releases energy and um, very good energy and glucose carbon dioxide oh, yes yes okay. Dioxide. okay okay so the white blood cells their job is to engulf pathogens which if enter our body they destroy them right so how does the structure help it do that the structure helps us like for example if there is a white if there is a pathogen detected somewhere in the body the white blood cells they can easily squeeze through the blood vessels and reach over there okay so so what what structure helps it to squeeze through the the holes um they don't have such a specific shape yes so so you will say that they are irregular shape so their irregular shape enables them to change their shape accordingly i mean their shape is changeable flexible so yeah so they so they can squeeze through tiny pores in the capillary walls yes right and also they can um, ca carry out the process of phagocytosis which again is due to their irregular shape yes any other uh, no. structure helping it no that's it what what are these tiny dots these tiny dots uh, around the nuclei uh, i'm not sure about that yeah these 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 are ribosomes okay what are these dots that they make in the cytoplasm what are these dots the what do ribosomes do no yeah that i mean i we have just discussed the yeah, i know that they make proteins but i'm asking what are these dots in the cytoplasm you know that you see in most of the diagrams these dots what what are these dots so i guess maybe they are ribosomes or mitochondria yeah they are either ribosomes or even there's another um organelle lysosomes or uh they may be um, yeah so they are yeah ri ribosomes or lysosomes so these ribosomes um their their job is to make proteins right so how, how what sort of protein uh, do white blood cells make why why is it that the white blood cell cytoplasm is filled with these dots that means it must be needing a lot of ribosomes right yes so what what are these ribosomes doing um they the they help in the making of antibodies very good uh antibodies are remember that is by lymphocytes this is a yeah. phagocyte yeah, yeah so antibody making is not by this cell yes it's by lymphocytes yes yeah, that is by lymphocyte so th this is not a lymphocyte but so what are the what are the ribosomes making here ribosome remember phagocytosis more more yes. yes do you remember phagocytosis Do you, do you do you remember the process of phagocytosis? I have actually not studied it. Okay, no, it's okay. Even if you attended my class, so just like a story. So after it engulfs the pathogen, what does it do with the pathogen? It hugs the pathogen, and then what <laughs> does it? Do? <laughs> so it hugs the pathogen, and then what does it do with with the pathogen? this it it digests it right so what so how does it digest see i'm 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 taking you to the answer digestion is done by enzymes 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 right so enzymes are what proteins right yes my yeah so so those enzymes are being made by these ribosomes okay yes the other people uh, uh, might not be understanding this it's okay don't worry okay we will do all of this okay then move on real quick okay. now then yes. the cell b the palisade cell manal explained it already okay so 
to cell C, the root yeah. hair cell. Now, the job of the root hair cell is to take out water and nutrients from deep in the soil. So that's why you see it has this long tail like shape. Right. So it can easily absorb water from deep into the soil. Right. Water and dissolved mineral ions. Yes. And then we have part D, the neuron cell. The neuron cell is supposed to send messages to other body cells. Right. And nerve impulses. So they have this long shape which helps them to travel the messages quickly. And yeah, transmit the messages, right. Yes. And then the part E is the muscle cell and we talked about that earlier. Right. So a nerve cell, you, you just talked about the, the elongated structure of the cytoplasm, like wire-like structure, just like electrical wires, they transmit uh, impulses in the form of, you can say electricity, they're electrical impulses. But yes, you know, it, it has electrical nature. Okay, let's move on to the next question. So the cells are special. Uh, just okay, this question is done, I think. This is complete. Yeah, sorry. Can you read it easily or should I shift the shape? Uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's horizontal. I mean, sorry. Yeah, you have to uh, rotate it. Rotate it. I'm not sure how to rotate it. Yeah, there, there's a little button on the top. Yeah, I can see the, there's an option at the top. Crop and on, rotate. Crop and ro ro rotate. So yeah. Now, okay. yeah. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, now it's perfect. Okay. Okay, be a little quick. Okay, so the diagram shows four types of cells. This is cell A, this is cell B, this is cell C, and this is cell D. They are all different types of cells. So party is asking us that which cell is a plant cell? And you Okay, and give one reason for your answer. Okay. Okay, this question, I think I don't have this question. This question is not in the old edition. I think this is in the new edition. Yes. So, but, but that's perfectly fine. Let's, okay, who wants to answer this question? Zores. Yes, Zores. Hello? Yes. Can you, would you, would you like to answer this question? Which cell is a plant cell? Cell A, cell B, cell C, and cell D. Cell D is a plant cell. Okay, good job. Because, because? Because it doesn't have an irregular shape. Okay, you're saying that because of the regular shape? Is that what you said? Yes. Uh, is there any other reason? It has or is? Okay. Uh, okay. So, okay. So, Sidra wants to say. Okay, Zoris, you can mute yourself. Yes. There's say, a Sidra. large central vacuole, and there are also chloroplasts. Very good. Yeah. There's a large central vacuole, and also there you can see a lot of chloroplasts. Okay. Yes. Part two. Which cell is an animal cell? Give one reason for your answer. Okay, Amar. Which cell is an animal cell? Yes. Teacher cell B is an animal cell. Why? Tell the reason as well. Because teacher does not have a fixed shape and it does not have a cell, cell wall and, and it does not have a vacuole. Or even if it has a vacuole, the vacuole will not be big. Very good, very good. And we cannot see any vacuole in the diagram. Okay, whenever you are given a diagram in a question, you will answer according to that diagram. Okay, you will not see anything which you cannot see in the diagram. So you cannot see any vacuoles. So don't talk about the vacuoles. Okay? okay. Okay. But your answer is okay. perfect. Good job. Okay. Which cell is a prokaryotic cell? Give one reason for your answer. We have not done that. Um, but in the new edition, it is in the chapter. Is it? Is it? Yes. yes it's on the start page. The prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. 
okay can you please uh, uh, show uh, uh, show that page okay at the end of the okay after this question show me those pages okay, okay. so that means I, I missed that point so i did not teach you that thing yes okay, okay but in this diagram the okay then you tell me if if you read what's in the okay. chapter tell me so, then which cell the prokaryotic cell is cell c because prokaryotic cells do not have a nucleus and the dna is in, not enclosed in the nucleus it's just a single loop or many loops of it and you can see a loop of dna over here very good good job good that not they added in this new edition and also okay. it is not it has a cell wall while eukaryotic cells don't have a cell wall eukaryotic or prokaryotic no prokaryotic cells have a cell wall but eukaryotic cells except for plant cells they don't have cell walls oh, okay 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 then last part give one advantage of an electron microscope compared to a light microscope okay let let somebody else answer yes uh, rahman abdur rahman i'm trying to unmute you uh, yes ma'am yes can you please answer this question give one advantage of an electron microscope compared to a light microscope Um, uh, the electron microscope magnifies more, but the light microscope does not um, magnify that much. Ah, uh, can you be a more? Can you be more specific? You can give a better answer. Your answer is not wrong. I mean, it's correct. A um, light microscope uses light, but um, I think the electron microscope uses. um is that an advantage is that an advantage uh, no ma'am yeah so they are asking advantage like how is it useful to us advantage means how is it useful to us how is electron microscope more useful to us than light microscope yes so they are saying it clear say it loudly because we can see it more clearly than when we see it in yeah clearly so means yeah microscope. clearly again is not specific you can say that electron microscope helps us see inside the cell or it helps us see inside even the organelle so we can find out how the organelles work from inside whereas light microscope will just give us a vague idea about the shape of the cell or you know the overall size of the cell or a little bit about the cytoplasm but nothing more than that so it's not as useful as an electron microscope with electron microscope we can see the details inside the cell we can find out about the organelles okay we can have more information from electron microscope so that's how electron microscope is more useful to us okay momina move on okay should i show the page first or should i do the questions first then should i unmute myself yes 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 please go ahead and mute yourself uh okay show me the page Can you see it? No, your camera is facing the roof. You have to. You have to rotate your your camera. Now, can you? Uh, mm, no. When you turn on your camera, there is a option on the top. It like it says switch your camera, so you can just click on it and. No, we cannot. First, we could see your camera, but now I cannot see. Yeah I'm asking you to start your video. Um it's actually started. Can you see it? Oh, yeah yeah yeah. Yes, yes. Yes. Now now I can see. Okay, so plant and animal cells, eukaryotic cells have a cell membrane, cytoplasm and genetic material enclosed in the nucleus. Yeah, and do you know that nucleus also has its own membrane? nucleus has its own membrane so basically all this all these chromosomes or genetic material is enclosed within that membrane which is called a nuclear membrane okay keep your camera steady um uh, momina Mo Mo now bacterial cells or prokaryotic cells are much smaller they have a cell membrane surrounded by a cell wall okay 
their genetic material is not enclosed in the nucleus so yeah yeah so they don't have nuclear membrane basically so they don't have a nucleus so the single loop of dna and there may be one or more small rings of dna called plasmids and they are lying suspended within the cytoplasm without any nuclear membrane okay 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 so we are good that's it okay now move on to the next question okay be quick a little quick so yes you have to ro ro rotate i can see the option at the top yeah yeah, okay. More. Yes. Okay. A scientist observed a cell using an electron microscope. The size of the image was 25 millimeters. The magnification was multiplied by 100,000 millimeter, uh, 100,000, and they are asking us to calculate the real size. Okay, they are asking us to calculate the real size. Okay, so do you know how to do this? Yes. Okay, can you explain? Can I solve it or will somebody else solve it? Okay, can somebody, does somebody else want to solve this? Have I asked Rahman? Did, did I ask Rahman? Abdul Rahman, oh, I did, I did. Sorry, Abdul Rahman. Okay, on Ali. Yes, ma'am. Yes, can you calculate the magnification? Or is it too hard for you? Ma'am, the magnification was, the real size of the image was 25 and the magnified, you know, magnified size of the image was, of the image was 1000 multiplied by yeah, 1000. No, this is not 1000, this is 100,000. Five zeros. Hundred thousand. So yes. it will be two twenty five two million five hundred five hundred thousand million five hundred thousand. That magnification size and the real size would be twenty five uh, twenty five millimeters. Real size is twenty five millimeters. Yes. No. 25 millimeters is very big. That means you can see it. That means you can see it without electron microscope. Many millimeters. Uh, okay, Momina, you, you want to do this? Yes. Okay. Okay, so I will turn on my video. Okay. Explain them so that they understand. Okay. okay. So... The question is asking us that. Okay, and your camera is tilted? I mean, it's not upright. Yes, yes, now it is, yes. Okay. Sorry, just a moment. So the question is asking us that the size of the image was 25 millimeters. Right. We, need, we know the image size. Right. The magnification was a hundred thousand millimeters. We know the magnification, but the real size is missing. So yes. when we have a problem like this, the formula is saying us magnification. Is equaling to image size. And real size. So okay, but formula we need to find out the real size yes an equal sign in between one thing to know in equations that whatever you shift from one side of the equal sign to the other side the opposite operation will take place for example over here it's being divided if we shift real size over here with magnification it will be multiplied not okay. divided right if it's being added, then it will be subtracted. The same thing, it goes only opposite. So right. over here, we need to find out the real size. So we will shift the image size towards the magnification and our formula will be magnification multiplied by image size 
equaling to the real size. And then we'll put, put in the numbers. The magnification was 100,000. The image size was 25. And it would be equaling to the real size. Momina, Momina. Yes. This is not, you've done a mistake. You, you, you have not shifted correctly. Real size, real size. Where should real size go and where should image size go? Oh, I did it oppositely. Yeah. So correct it. It's okay. It's okay. That's how you learn. You know, that's how you learn. It's okay. From okay. Here. Okay. How to double check if you're going right or wrong? You know, the double to double check. Remember, the real size is going to be very, very small because you know, especially you know, in biology, when you're trying to uh, calculate, you're when you're dealing with cells, uh, actual size, the real actual size of the cell is going to be very, very small. So now, if you multiply apply twenty five by hundred thousand, you will get twenty five hundred thousand. That cannot be the real size. Yes. Yeah. So now magnification will be dividing image size, or it will be multiplying. Okay. Okay, now let me do it. Okay, let me do it. It's okay. You know what? I'm thinking that I should take a class. Oh, what happened? Oh, it turned off. Oh, no, no, no. That's that's fine. That's fine. I I thought that maybe I my camera turned turned off. Okay. Uh, you know what? I was thinking that I should take a class on algebra. You yes. know. Yeah. In sixth grade in mathematics, algebra is everything you study. In six, they, 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 they teach algebra? Yes, algebra and trigonometry. Did, did they teach in grade six? Al did, yes. did they teach algebra? I don't remember with my daughter. But anyway, okay. Uh, can you guys see my video? No. Sorry, sorry. I turned off my video. Okay, I am turning. Oh, boy. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. This is how I do. See if you find it easy, then you can stick to this. Okay. For now, I'm just teaching you magnification. Okay. This is how I do. Okay. Uh, this is how, you know, this is how I, I protect myself from getting confused. So whatever the actual size is, the actual size is going to be very, very small. Okay. Whatever the actual size is, we will multiply it with some number i'm giving it x some number okay it will get multiplied that many times to give me the enlarged or the magnified image to give me the magnified image okay what do we mean by magnified image don't get confused by these terms magnified image is the same as the diagram or it can also be called diagram or it can be uh, uh, the image that you see under the microscope Okay, the image that you see under the microscope, the image that you see under the electron microscope, whatever microscope you're using, that image is magnified. Magnified means enlarged. It's also called enlarged size. So whatever term they use, remember, this is the big picture that we can see. This is the size that we cannot see. This is very small. And so this size is being increased by this many times to give us this magnified image. Okay, now what is this number with which we are multiplying the actual size to get the enlarged size? This number is what is we call magnification. This is what we call magnification. This is magnification. This number which gets multiplied by the actual size to give us the enlarged size. This number is magnification. So sometimes they ask us actual size, sometimes they ask us magnification, and at other times they ask us the enlarged size, okay? Now, size meaning they can take anything. They can take height, uh, width, or diameter, or radius, whatever. They can take any parameter, whatever they give you, 
you should take the same for the magnified image. If they've given you a, um, the diameter of the actual size, you will find the diameter of the magnified image. If they've given you the length of the actual size, you will find the length of the magnified image and so on and so forth. Okay. So in this question, the magnification was 100,000, right? 100,000 magnification. So I'm not substituting. This is my formula. Now I'm substituting, okay? 100,000 is my magnification, okay? Magnified image was 25 millimeters. Uh, 25 millimeter. Was that magnified? Yes, okay. So we, we had to find out the actual size, okay? Actual, we don't know what the actual size is. Okay, so now what I will do is because I want to find actual size, I have to isolate it. Isolate meaning it should be left alone so that I can have an equations in this form. Actual size is equal to something. So I want this to be alone. I don't want it to be multiplied or being added or being anything. I don't want anything on this side because why? Because I want to find out the value of the actual size. So now, but I can see that actual size here is getting multiplied by 100,000. So I have to get rid of this. So how should I get rid of this? I should shift it to the other side. I, I, sh I should shift it to the other side of the equal to sign. Now here it is getting multiplied. So when I shift it to the other side of the equal to sign, then it should get divided. It should be divided, okay, like this, okay? So actual size would be now, one, two, three, four, five, five zeros. So decimal, this means what? The decimal is here, right? Whenever we don't have a decimal, we have a decimal at the end. Now the decimal will jump five seats backwards. Five seats backwards. So five, two, two jumps, three jump, fourth jump, fifth jump here. So the decimal will come and sit here. Okay, it will have five digits in front of it. So 0 0.00025 millimeters, same unit for the actual size. Magnification has no unit. Okay, so actual size would be this. Did you guys understand? So the a formula became actual size is equal to the uh, the magnified image divided by the magnification but you know what i do because you know remembering so many formulae gets confusing so i try to minimize my memorization what i do is i make sense actual size right we we magnified it that means we enlarged it many times and that's how we got the magnified image. So I come up with this formula. Once I come up with this formula, the rest is easy. The rest is making sense and you know, the rest is algebra. For algebra, remember, now whatever you wanna find out, it should be alone on that side of the equal to sign. It should be alone because we wanna find out what it is equal to. So if there is anything with it, try to get rid of it by shifting it to the other side of the equal to sign. And how will you shift it to the other side of the equal to sign? Reversing its operation. If it is getting multiplied, it should get divided. If it is getting added, it will get subtracted. If it is getting divided, it will get multiplied. Okay, so the reverse operation. Okay, did you understand? Okay, Momina, next question. Uh, end of chapter questions are finished so should i start the other question yes now please start the past papers okay the diagram shows a palisade cell which mm -hmm. structure is not found in an animal cell okay let's see uh okay sidra is saying sidra is uh sidra wants to answer this question okay sidra uh, speak loudly it's c Okay, tell us the reason. It's C is C is C. C, are you sure? Are we answering seven? No, six, six, six. Oh, okay. So then, 
The diagram shows a palisade mesophyll cell, which structure is not found in an animal cell. D. Say it loudly. It's chloroplast D because uh, uh, animal cell does not have chloroplast because it does not have to carry photo out photosynthesis. Okay, and what about A? Do animal cells have A? Yeah, they have the cell membrane. What is A? A is? Cell membrane. Right. B is? The cytoplasm. Do animal cells have it? Yes. Okay. And what about C? C is the nucleus and animal cells have it. Right. Okay. So, okay. So number seven, which statement is correct for phloem but not for exylem? Okay. Let's see. Uh, uh, Sabiha. No, sorry, Rayan. Yes, Rayan. Yes, teacher. Yes, can you please answer question number seven? Which statement is correct for phloem but not for xylem? I think it. Um, I think it is. It carries starch. Uh, um, phloem. Are you talking about phloem? Are you? Yes. Okay. It it carries a starch. Um. No, teacher. I think it carries min mineral ion. Decide. Decide first. Decide, and then you answer. Okay. If you cannot, it's okay. Then. We will ask Momina to explain us. Okay. It carries mineral ions. They are carried from the cell and xylem carries them, but phloem does not. It carries starch. I'm not sure about this one. It carries sucrose, the sugar which is used by plants. It's not sucrose, it's glucose. It is no longer living. They are asking which statement is correct for phloem but not for xylem. Yes. So, xylem is composed of dead cells and Very phloem good. still has living cells because it has to transport the food and the cells are which is made by the leaf palisade cells. Right. So this is also not true. So lastly, we have B left and I'm not, I'm not sure about the carrying of starch, so I guess that's the correct answer. Okay, okay. Let Sidra answer. She wants to answer. Okay. It is C because it uh, phloem does carry sucrose and glucose. When it's in the form of traveling, it is called sucrose. But when it's made, it's called glucose. And when it's stored, it's starch. So because it's phloem, that means it's traveling. So it's C carry sucrose okay i think you guys have not done this you have you guys have not done this okay so it's not your fault it's okay uh, uh which statement is correct for phloem but not for xylem so it definitely the phloem do, does not carry mineral ions that is carried by xylem because mineral ions are dissolved in water and it is the xylem's job or function to transport water and the dissolved mineral ions. So A is, I mean, true for xylem. So it cannot be the correct option here. Okay, remember, a, a glucose, excess of glucose in the plants is stored in the form of a starch. Remember this, write it down somewhere. Okay, glucose is produced, but then if it is not used immediately, it is stored in the form of a starch in plants. In animals or in other organisms, the excess of glucose is stored in the form of glycogen. Remember this. In animals, the glucose is stored in the form of glycogen. And in plants, the glucose is stored in the form of a starch. Okay. Now, sucrose uh, is another form of sugar in which the sugar is transported. So in the phloem, you don't see glucose. In the phloem, you don't see starch because the starch is the stored form and glucose was the form in which it is produced. But the transport form is sucrose. Are you understanding, you guys? Yes. Yes. And it is no longer living. Uh, 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 that is not true because phloems are, are living cells. 
yes. okay phloem are living cells and uh, okay can anybody tell me why how how do we know that phloem are living i mean how come phloem are living who who will ask answer that question sabiha sabiha is a good student sabiha sabiha what do you know about phloem cells just whatever you yes. know tell me okay so sabiha what what do you know about phloem cells phloem cells um they carry glucose to the, from not, the not 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 glucose sucrose okay Sucrose. sucrose yeah sucrose is the form in which the uh, in which sugar is transported yes okay um from the leaves to all the parts of the plants and by um for by are they living or are they dead they're living yeah they're living so how are they living um, do, do they have nuclei and everything in cytoplasm and everything yes they have very thin cytoplasm but nuclei i think uh, uh, they don't have nuclei because you know they have companion cells you know that they, uh, that that shows you guys are not revising and you guys did not listen to my previous class i did this structure i and yes by the way i did not upload my last biology class because uh, there was some problem with the video i couldn't upload it on youtube and so i i apologize for that it was my fault uh but anyway i was using the laptop for the first time uh for my class so anyway so phloem are living cells yes because of the companion cells it is the companion cells that keep them alive okay okay sabiha and then they have perforated plates in between uh, the individual cells perforated means what does perforated means sabia do you know no perforated means having holes okay there are plates in between the cells and those plates have holes in them and those holes allow the sucrose solution to pass from one cell to another and so that's how the sucrose solution moves through the phloem remember i showed you pictures yes yes okay momina next question okay sabia you can mute yourself a palisade cell and a nerve cell are observed under a light microscope only the palisade cell has a cell membrane a cytoplasm a nucleus or a vacuole Okay then now taha This is an easy question taha Uh yes teacher Yes can you please answer this question Uh a palisade cell and a nerve yes, cell are also Are also think of it Yes only the palisade cell has a cell membrane cytoplasm nucleus vacuole uh a vacuole hey, okay yes and why not the other three teacher because cell membrane you know like it's a all cells have like a cell membrane okay very good and and cytoplasm and cytoplasm uh nucleus or all cells have very good nucleus. and cytoplasm as well okay uh, yes teacher okay what is a palisade cell a uh, teacher is used to absorb sunlight right it is it is uh, the main photosynthesizing cell in the leaf in the leaves right yes yes okay now mute yourself okay momina next question So the diagram shows a plant cell. Which features show that it is a plant cell? Okay, now Fatima. Assalamualaikum, teacher. It is a cell wall and a vacuum. Okay, it is a cell wall and a vacuum. Yes, very good. And why are the other options wrong? Also discuss that. 
real quick? Because other don't have cell wall and a vacuum. Oh, cell wall only. Okay. Only plant cell has cell wall. Okay. 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 Good job. You can mute, mute yourself. Yes, because nucleus and cytoplasm is possessed by all the cells, whether they are plant or uh, an animal. So that does not uh, that does not differentiate. It has a nucleus but no chloroplast. So uh, that does not tell that it is a plant cell. So this is a plant cell, but it does not have chloroplast. But that is not helping us in determining that this is a plant cell. D, it has chloroplasts, but no vacuum. Again, this is not helpful. Okay. Okay, Momina, move on. So the diagram shows a special... Okay, Momina, how, much, how, how, how many questions are left? I'm not sure. Oh, okay, okay. The diagram shows a specialized cell cut in half. What does this diagram indicate about... The structure of this yeah, cell. Yeah, mute the other device. Okay, so what does this diagram indicate about the structure of this cell? Okay, who wants to... Oh, sorry. Who wants to answer this? Okay, Uzair. I'm trying to unmute you. Yes, Uzair? Question number 30. What does this diagram, no, the diagram shows a specialized cell cut in half. What does this diagram indicate about the structure of the cell? Yes. A, the cell has a cell wall. Yeah, can you please be a little quick because we are running out of time. The cell, the cell has a cell wall. The cell is concave on each side. The cell is long and thin. The cell is red and carries oxygen. Yes. yes. The cell is red and carries oxygen. Can you see the red color in the diagram? No. So how can you say? Uh, is it so you cannot so so you cannot say that because you cannot see that in the diagram so you have to when they give you a diagram you have to answer according to the diagram what you can see the yes. cell is long and thin no there are better options the cell has a cell wall that does it have a cell wall no okay what cell is it can you recognize the cell? Can, can you recognize the diagram? What cell are they showing? Did you attend my previous classes? Or are you attending for the first time? Was there? The first time. First time? The okay. first time a bio biology class is the first time. Okay, okay. So you should have uh, l listened to my recordings. So I have shown so many red blood cells in my previous classes. I have shown so many red blood cells. This is a red blood cell. Okay, they have cut the red blood cell. Can you see the concave, concave shape? That's very special of a red blood cell. The cell is concave on each side. Yes, that's the correct option. Okay. Okay, Momina, next question. Okay, now we are out of time. So if you guys want to leave, I mean, whoever wants to leave is allowed to leave. I mean, you are always allowed to leave. This is a volunteer class. But, uh, but let us finish these questions. Okay, I, I want to finish these questions because in the next class, we'll start a new chapter. Okay, Momina, move on. Question number 31. Which diagram shows chloroplasts in their correct position in a plant cell? Okay, uh, Hiba. Yes. yes, teacher. 
Yes, question number 31. Which diagram shows chloroplasts in their correct position in a plant cell? Teacher, is the answer A? Don't ask me. I'm asking you. So let's discuss each option together, okay? Let's, let's discuss together, okay? Look at option A. Where are the chloroplasts sitting? Where, in which part of the cell are they? In A. They are outside. Outside? Tell me the, what is this part of the cell called where, the, where you can see the chloroplasts in diagram A? In which part of the cell are the chloroplasts sitting? Come on. No? Okay. Aslan? Aslan? Yes? Yes. Can you answer? In which part um, of the cell do you think these chlor chloroplasts are sitting? Above B. No. I, okay. So you're giving me the answer? Yes. Okay. So how? Explain me, please. Because uh, in the... Um, okay, Momina, you, uh, you explain. Momina? Yes, yes, yes. please explain. So, in part A, the chloroplasts are in the cell wall. Which Very is good. Group. In part B, they're sitting in the cytoplasm. In part C, the cell is not... Yeah, in the cytoplasm cell. again. Yes. But it's not a plant cell. Yes, it's not a plant cell, right. And in this part B, they're sitting in the vacuum. So, right. chloroplasts sit in the cytoplasm, so that's why the answer is B. Right, because the correct place for chloroplast is not cell wall, is not the vacuole, but it's the cytoplasm. And they are only present in the plant cell, so they cannot be in C. So the correct option is B. Very good. Okay, move on. Next question. Which features are possessed by all plant cells? Should so I maximize it? Yes, can you enlarge it a little? Okay, Ammar. Ammar? Yes. Question number 41. Which features are possessed by all plant cells? Bitter cell wall. Bitter option. Tell me the option. option. A, B, or A, B, C, or D? Um, B. B? So plant cells don't have chloroplasts? No, no, teacher. Sorry, it's A. Yes, it's A, because the question is asking which features are possessed by all plant cells. So cell wall and chloroplasts are possessed by both. So A. Good job, Ammar. Okay. Uh, Mo Momina, ask him the, second, uh, the, the next question. For which process is a root hair cell adapted? Absorption of mineral ions, support of stem, translocation of sucrose, or transport of oxygen? Okay, Romesa. Um, it is for which process is a root hair cell adapted? Root hair cell. It's the what's the job of root hair cells, Ramesa? It's uh... you're not revising. Rumesa? Uh, yeah, I wasn't in the last class. Oh, okay. It's okay. So go ahead and revise and then inshallah you'll do it. Okay. Okay, okay Sariha. Sariha? Okay. Sariha. Yes. Yes. Sariha? Yes, miss. Yes. Can you do this? Question number 42. For which process is a root hair cell adapted? A absorption of mineral ions. Very good. Good job. Absorption of mineral ions because that is the function of root hair cells. Okay, Momina, move on. Next question. Miss, should I mute? Yes. What can be found in both root hair cells and xylem vessels? 
what can be found in both root hair cells and xylem vessels okay abdullah abdullah yes yes beta uh, what can be found in both root hair cells and xylem vessels a okay a a means all of them cell membrane yes. cell wall cytoplasm nucleus yes no what do you know what do you remember about xylem vessels xylem carries mineral ions from the roots to to the other parts to the other parts of the plant very good dissolve mineral ions in water okay so uh, what do you remember about their structure what what do you remember about their structure okay okay uh, azlan what do you remember about xylem vessel structures azlan okay i'm going to answer because we are running late uh, xylem yes should i answer yes okay momina you answer okay yes. so we know that it's xylem vessels they're dead cells so they can't have a cell membrane right they can't have cytoplasm they can't right. have nucleus the only right. thing they can have in common is the cell wall so c is the correct answer right basically if you remember in my previous class i discussed the structure of xylem vessels in detail and i did mention that you know because xylem vessels are like conducting they are you know they are stacked on top of each other and they are conducting they form a conducting tube okay you can refer to my uh okay you can refer to my previous re re recordings and you can see that uh they are dead cells because all they are left behind with is the cell wall they their cell membrane their nucleus their cytoplasm everything degenerates and so uh, they no longer the mature xylem vessel cells do not possess any nucleus cytoplasm or cell membrane okay they are just cell wall and that's it so this wood you know the wood with which we make furniture and you know the bark of the tree they're just cell wall of xylem okay and then they have this waterproof a uh, material called lignin that further strengthens you know the cell wall of the xylem okay momina move on the shell the cell shown in the diagram has been magnified 3000 times and the diagram is 21 mm wide what is the actual diameter of the cell okay momina I, this time i want you to do this i want you to do this so the diagram has been magnified so the magnification is 3000 yes the magnified image is 21 very good so for to find out the actual diameter yes uh, just a minute yeah start your video and this is the last question after this uh, we will end the meeting so um uh, momina i want you to switch on your video and then do it the same way as you were doing that magnification question it's not turning on so can i just do it orally uh it's not turning on i'll try to turn it on wait no oh, the device got signed out oh okay 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 tell me orally so we know the magnification and we know the image size and to find out the real size we must uh divide the image the the magnified size from the magnification so our answer would be b21 divided by 3000 okay so the answer is b b21 divided by 3000 yes yeah okay i want to show you my working real quick okay just hold it just hold it okay look at my video just yes. hold it here on this on this page yeah can you see my video okay so so again the same thing actual size gets multiplied by something and that number is magnification to give you the magnified size or diagram 
Now the actual size is what we have to calculate. Again, I'm trying to isolate it, meaning it should be alone, okay, on the left-hand side of the equal to sign. So I will shift this 3000 on the other side. Here it is getting multiplied, so therefore it will get divided uh, on the right-hand side. So 21 divided by 3000, okay? So this is the correct answer, okay? Okay, so... In the okay. questions, three questions are left only. Three questions are left? Okay, yes. okay, okay, go ahead. Okay. I thought this was the last thing. Please arrange this. <laughs> okay. So, the diagram shows different types of cells. Which structure do all these cells have? Cell membrane, cell wall, chloroplasts, or nucleus? Okay, uh, Sidra wants to answer. Okay. Uh, they all have which structure do all these cells have? Come on. Nucleus. Nucleus. No, this this nucleus does not have a nucleus. Does not have a nucleus. Okay, hurry up, hurry up. Cell hurry up. membrane. Cell membrane, right. Yeah. Because cell membrane, all the cells have cell membrane. Okay, okay, next. Which row matches the cell membrane and cell wall of a palisade to their functions? Which row matches the cell membrane and cell wall of a palisade cell to their functions? Palisade cell, so cell membrane. Now, support is not a function of cell membrane. Okay, support is not a function of cell membrane. Transport is its function. And okay, active transport, you guys have not done. Active transport is a mode of transport for molecules, okay, across the, you know, cell membrane. So, uh, if you in chapter, there is active transport. Yes, so we will do that in the next chapter, inshallah ta'ala. Uh, uh, but this much we know that cell membrane is so thin support cannot be its function cell membrane is so thin that the only function that cell membrane has is to control the movement of molecules into and out of the cells and what goes in and what goes out and how much of it right so c and d are wrong outright okay because support is not the function of cell membrane so we have to choose between a and b now cell wall now cell wall is absolutely permeable what does that mean Momina, what does that mean? Permeable? That the substances can pass through it. All the substances, irrespective of their sizes or their charges or their type, whatever. They can, you know, like cell wall is like just open, open gate. It doesn't, it doesn't do anything. It does not control. It does yeah. not control what enters in or out. It is the cell membrane that controls, not the cell wall. Yes. Okay, the cell wall's job is to give shape. The cell's wall job is to give support because it is made up of the hard substance called cellulose, right? So it is option B. B is the correct option because cell wall's job is support and cell membrane's job is transport. I mean, what goes in and what goes out. Okay, yes. next. Uh, okay. Dead, so we're done now. What are the functions of xylem vessels? Have, have we done this? No, no, no. No, no, we haven't done this. Okay, I want a, a one a somebody from the non-participants who has not. Mahnoor, you haven't. Mahnoor? Yes, I'm trying to unmute you. I want new people to participate. All right. Okay, Heather? I'm trying to... Okay, Heather? You're muting yourself back because you don't want to answer. Okay, and another thing, in the last class as well, I mentioned that people who are just silent as spectators and do not participate for long, I will not keep them in my class for long. Okay, because I don't know what you're doing behind the screen. I, I will not allow that. You have to participate. Hania. Yes, teacher. Yes, what are the functions of xylem vessels? Okay, first of all, tell me, what is the function of xylem vessel? What, what do you know before you even read the options? Teacher, they, um, the absorption of the water. Absorption is the function of xylem vessels. Mm -hmm. Is that right? No, teacher, it's uh, conduction. 
Yes. So what does it do? What what does this what does what does the xylem vessel do? It uh, teacher it takes the minerals. Uh, it takes minerals from the and water. Yes, it takes minerals and water from the roots to the other parts of the body uh, to other parts of the plant. Okay. Is there any other job of xylem vessels? Mm. No. Because of their thick cell wall, because of their, their thick cell wall, they also have the support function, right? Yes. Yes. Because of their thick cell wall, which also has, I mean, apart from cellulose, they also have additional strong, a strong material called lignin, which gives them support. So, so now with this information that you have, now Hania, choose from these four. Absorption, e. conduction, photosynthesis, support. DJ, the answer is C. C? Only conduction uh, and support. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Hania, you are correct. So it's conduction and support. So will you remember that? Yes, teacher. Yes, inshallah. Okay, jazakallah khairan. Okay. Okay, Momina, do we have any more questions? No, that's it. I just oh. wanted to confirm one thing from you. Yes. In the old book, is there any topic related to amoebas? Amoeba. Yeah, I mean, in this chapter? Yes. Uh, in the first chapter, yes, they do have a page on amoeba. Yeah, but it wasn't included. Why? Because uh, last year we started, in like the year from where I came, we studied about it. Okay. Uh, are you a new admission in Pisces? No. Okay, so did, did you do?